Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polish. On Sundays we stamp palms and flamingos, or a flamingo really. We're starting off with Purple Heart from the Sally Hansen Crayola Insta Dry Collection. I'm going to do two coats of that on my pointer finger or index finger, whatever you want to call it. This color is so deep I don't really need two coats, but I like to use two coats. Next I'm taking Cassiopeia from the Kale Polish Collection. I wanted a black with some glitter in it, and since this one has the faintest hints of holographic glitters, I figured this was the perfect one. Next I'm taking my latex peel off and I'm putting it on the cuticle area of my nails preparing them for the stamp. This is a UR sugar plate that I got off of Amazon. It's a five piece plate set that you can get for $8.99. I'm taking Inchworm and I'm also going to take Razzle Dazzle Rose along with the Purple Heart and I'm going to do a sort of gradient stamp. I wanted to originally take bits of the leaves and do them in different colors, but when I looked, the stamp had them all interconnected, so it was going to be a little bit more difficult to separate them, and that's when I went ahead and decided to do a sort of like rainbow gradient. I honestly never really liked the purple heart color. It was like a gray purple, like a gray deep purple, but once I put it next to the Razzle Dazzle Rose and the Inchworm, it really just brought out its vibrancy. It's interesting how you cannot like a color until you put it next to a couple other ones, and then all of a sudden, it's a beautiful set. Now I'm taking the Inchworm and the Razzle Dazzle Rose, and I'm picking up this middle flamingo, which is the only flamingo in that stamp that is a whole flamingo. And I'm going to put it on my purple nail Now I'm taking off my latex peel off. And don't forget to use a cleanup brush to get any other little bits of nail polish that you may have on your nail or your cuticle skin. I'm putting on my final top coat, which is the crap coat that is a accumulation of all my top coats that I have started to run out of and then decided to pour into this one giant bottle. I'm not sure how I made the most wonderful top coat. I'm gonna be sad when it runs out. Here's the final result. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!